This is one of the best coaches out there in the game, guys. I'm telling you, y'all, y'all peak game. And yeah, tell them how long you been coaching, though. I've been coaching 16 years 16 now. Yeah, yep, 16. You know, it's so funny. I was just telling somebody the other day. It's funny how we're, we're looked upon. Like <laughs> in the NBA, you can retire, go do television. Next thing you know, you're a coach. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. In the NFL. You got to go through hell. You got to start here. You have to go there. You have to do this. You go to just for opportunity. Yeah. Now in college, you rarely see coaches that came from high school, man, African Americans, that go up to the co collegiate level and all that. It's almost like a stop sign. I concur. It is. It, it, unless you know it somebody is. who gives you it an really opportunity. Is. Yeah. But then. You don't know somebody who'll give you opportunity because there's somebody that don't look like you. Yeah. So yeah. how are you gonna get those opportunities? And he's he, he, he's speaking the, the, the straight how, truth. How do we get those opportunities? Yeah. Because it's almost like, okay, you say I wanted to prepare it and I want to qualify, but I I did 17 years of television. Yeah. Usually, coaches when they get fired in college football, they go to TV. TV. And then they write back up. But I did 17 <laughs> years. I did that who? 14 to 17 years of television. Yes, yes. You ain't even saying football. Not only the football, they ain't even saying football. football. I would think that would qualify me in some fashion. <laughs> you know, the, the year. So over 30 years. Well, hold on, but keep 30 years. Mm -hmm. But he also was knocking home runs inside the park, home runs in the MLB, yeah. and still in second base. And, Throwing not, people out and playing in World Series. But I'm not qualified. But you're not qualified. Yeah. And the only reason I just got my great gig is because I knew somebody. Right. Because because I knew somebody. You can't tell me I wasn't qualified. Right. You know. And so he he telling the truth. It's the truth. He's, he's telling the truth. That, that's the kind of stuff that nobody talks about. Yeah. He's telling the truth. And you look at the number of uh, African Americans in Power Fives, you would be amazed. Amazed. Position coaches. Yeah. And the NFL. Uh, quote unquote, I've heard. I'm. We both in the game of football. Uh, they say that the product that's coming out of college is going into the NFL is watered down, as far as fundamentals and technique. Right. Well, you talking to the greatest of all time right. at that position. Not on, not only that, but one of the greatest, if not the greatest, football player of all time. You think he ain't have fundamentals, <laughs> technique? <laughs> That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, dog. Hey, That's all I'm saying. You know what, they, That's all I'm they, saying. The communicative skills, like. That's all I'm saying. Um, I hope we show you talking to the, the the defense in there, but just being able to get up and communicate with today's mm -hmm. kids is vital. Yeah. Everybody yep. can't do that. Just because you know X's and O's, oh. and, and but you don't know Jimmy's and Joe's, it's gonna be a problem. Because nah. you got to be able to communicate to these kids. College. In high school, for sure. Yeah. And now it's getting prevalent. You almost need it in the pros. You got to. You got to. I had left the Raiders. I had left the Raiders, and I walked out, and I turned around, and I looked at Mark Davis. And I said, Mark, if I had a position in this building, I could help a lot of them younger players. And it wasn't nothing but a month after that. And from the DB to the wide receiver, they are no longer with the team, no longer in the National Football League. Right. They didn't even play over three years. Right. And they were first round picks. That's right. Changed their family lives, changed their lives, and it's over. Right. Just that fast. Yeah. So you still need those, like Coach Prime is talking about, you still need integral people like us. That have been there and done it. That have been there and done it. What Coach Kelly just said, he said it's hard for somebody to take somebody somewhere that they hadn't been. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. And it's, it's hard for me to give you the directions Come to that point. Come on. In Denver. That's like me. Ain't been there. That's like when I'm coaching. You think I don't use Coach Prime every day in my practice in mm -hmm. some type of speech, some type of this, some type of story, because we got stories for days. Um, played in a lot of games together. Played against each other. College, pros, all that, and still remain best of friends. Yeah. But you don't even like to say friends. We brothers. That's right. Always been brothers. That's and right. um, we got over millions of fans that it, We was brothers doors. so much. On some personal stuff, I used to get mad at it because yeah. I love them so much. Yeah. In relational stuff. Yeah. Because yeah. I was like, but because yeah. I love them. Yeah. Like, you know? I was drinking too much. Yeah. I, was, I, was, I, was, I was I was drinking too much. And you talking about somebody that could drink, 
party and kick it, and then come out there and go for a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> go five for hundred fifty. So it makes you mad. Put the Bible in my pocket, though. It makes you mad. It makes you mad that he was putting in work because I, because I didn't want him to put in work because I didn't want him to keep doing what he's doing. But it, it makes you mad. He's like, I'm gonna be all right. We were roommates everywhere. everywhere. Night before the game, yeah. we were roommates. Yeah. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. Though so you remember when we when we uh overslept in Houston for the preseason game? Pre <laughs> we had to catch a taxi. We had to catch a taxi to the game. They had left us. How you gonna leave us? They got us preseason. You ain't gonna get no points. Yeah. He running the punt back, he running the kick first, he running the kickoff back. Yeah. Hey. And then you gotta bring your offense up. out there, so then he gonna hey. pick it. They and it's a pick up. six. So then they gonna kick it. They, we we gotta kick off again and they go three and out. Left they gotta punt it to him. They then we finally get the ball. You know what I'm doing. <laughs> they left us, man. That joke was so funny. Uh, that's hey. 21 points. That's 21 points. It, it, like we woke up. I said, dog. It was over. Hey, said, hey man, we late. <laughs> we late. And I got my Nintendo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. You got a story for days, dog. Coach Prime, Coach Prime, now don't let it fool you. I love him to death. We land in the bed, we write, we write rhymes. He in his yeah. bed, I'm in my bed, I'm writing my rhymes. Yeah. Yeah. He writing his rhymes. Yeah. I'm writing yeah. my rhyme, I look over I there. I can't believe you remember he, that. He writing his rhyme. Oh. So Coach Prime had wrote maybe a half a rap. And I was about halfway through my rap. And say if we had 25 words into the piece. Yeah. Coach Prime didn't have one curse word in there. Yeah. And this back when I used to curse a lot. <laughs> I had 25 words and 24 of them curse words. <laughs> hey, so Dre used to sing and rap, dog. Dre song and rap. He was dead serious. He was dead serious. But, but I'm telling you, I used to get so mad. I was that team that used to get in that. That was yeah. my brother. Yeah. That's my brother, brother. Yeah, I used to get doubt. so mad Without because I knew if, if he wasn't doing this, it would really be on. Yeah. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody coming. Yeah. Ain't nobody coming. That was bad. That was so coming. funny. Then another time, got I got one for the whole Buff Nation. <laughs> Curfew. I'm chilling. I ain't trying to get in no trouble. Coach Prime said, "Hey, I just bought this new Acura, fresh off the assembly yeah, line. NSX. Uh, NSX. It do about 200." I said, "What? I just bought a new Porsche. It do about 201." <laughs> Let's see this. Hey, hey, it was always a competition. It was always competitive. Oh, no, no. I got one better than that. We got caught, too, by the way. Better than that. Okay, it's, it's cold. Hey, dog, you know it's cold where we're going, right? We're going to D.C. Okay. You know what? Let's, let's mink it up. So I had one to the floor. Yeah, yeah, I had yeah. to hold my shoulders up. Was it all black? And this joker came black? through there with a box. <laughs> Ow! This joker came through there with a box. So thick. I'm like, let's get it, Yo, that fox is so cold. I was mad. I had to. See, he told the truth. Now he was mad. Peter, I apologize. We apologize, Peter. Oh, but I'm just man. telling you the truth about old times. Oh, we grown. Man. But I was mad because that fox was hit. Hey, and the meat was the meat, but that fox hey, was hit. That make it so bad. I was so mad. At fox. That might have been our first playoff game in our career. Yeah, it was. Yeah, going to play Washington. Yeah. Was it going yep. to play Washington? Yeah, we was going to play Washington. We was going to play we Redskins. Took a we yep. took a picture. We were going to play the Redskins, and uh, that was our first career yeah. playoff game. Yeah. And um, we got beat, but they went on to win a you know, Super Bowl, yeah, so we didn't feel We was happy about that. We was happy about that yeah, part. They won the Super Bowl, yeah, but the Super Bowl team beat us. Super Bowl team beat us. And we weren't ready. We didn't know how to win. Uh, we didn't know how to win. My baby went to go get two after that, though. You got mm -hmm. two rings, right? Mm -hmm. And I went to go get one. You got one. And don't think, don't think that we weren't talking. Yeah. Uh, the whole time. Buff Nation the whole time. The whole time. Even after a little squabble, all that stuff. That, that, you have no idea. Let me tell nothing. Okay, let's, let's tell you what that was really about. Yeah. Tell what that was really about was my boy was mad that I left. Yeah, hurt. That was my brother. I was hurt. And I didn't mad. say nothing because I didn't know how to tell him I'm out. Yeah. And it hurt. It, that hurt him and, and I know it did. So he said some things and I was mad that my dog, because he knew what would hurt me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he knew what hurt me because he would hurt. So he hurt people, hurt people. So he knew what would hurt me. And he said something. I said, all right. And that's what caused the whole ruckus. But you know what? Yeah. What people don't realize, right after that, we got that out, we was cool. Yeah, for life. We was talking to yeah. each other during the game. For life. We was cool. For life. Because. Right after that. I'm talking about right, right after that. Yeah. It was no. 
Yeah. I'm kidding you for the rest. Of, it wasn't nah. none of that. It was nah. like we good. Nah. We good. Like every, we good. Every since. Hey, no, no. On the deal. On the deal. We looked at each other. We said we good. He said we good. No joke. That's really how it was down. Yeah. We was good, right? But we had so much in inside of us that that was a brother that left another brother yeah. in that situation because he knew I was gonna go win. He's like, dog, you know, he really, like, how you leave me, man? You ain't say nothing, you ain't, but they never offered me a deal. No, they didn't.